Well, Washington state has especially been hard hit, accounting for about a quarter of all coronavirus cases here in our country. More than 100 confirmed cases there. And it also has the highest number of deaths with at least 18 so far. Governor Jay Inslee says officials are considering possible mandatory measures to try and contain the spread. Dan Springer live in our Seattle Bureau with what they are considering. Hi, Dan. Yeah, hey, Eric, about an hour ago, two more deaths were reported in King County, Washington, bringing the state's total to at least 18. We're still waiting for the state health department to report today, but we know that there are at least 119 confirmed cases of coronavirus here, and there's more focus on a local nursing home. The Life Care Center of Kirkland had 120 residents a week ago. Since then, 15 have died and 40 others have been taken to the hospital with symptoms. One visitor has died from the virus, and 70 of the 180 employees are showing possible signs of the virus. Of the remaining residents, a handful have symptoms. Shockingly, everyone in the facility is just now getting tested as the first batch of test kits arrived on Thursday, and the nursing home finally held a news conference yesterday. We've had patients who, within an hour's time, show no symptoms to going to acute symptoms and being transferred to the hospital. And we've had patients die relatively quickly under those circumstances. A couple dozen paramedics who responded to the facility have been in quarantine for the last week, and now they are being moved to a motel that King County just bought. City officials in Kent, where the Econo Lodge is located, filed a lawsuit to block the new quarantine site, but a judge ruled the county does have the authority during a state of emergency. Many Washington residents are heeding the advice to limit their exposure to crowds. Restaurants and movie theaters report that business has been cut in half. That's about the same for some Seattle hotels and tourist destinations like Pike Place Market. Several universities and two local school districts have gone to teaching all their classes online for the next few weeks. Bill Gates, meantime, wants to dramatically increase access to testing for the virus. His foundation is working on a home testing kit that will allow people to swab their noses, then send the samples back for analysis. Re results will be available in one to two days. The kits and the testing lab would be up and running in a couple of weeks and would be a major game changer as authorities were to slow the spread of this virus. Eric? Yeah, they really would be. Sooner the better. Dan, thank you. Aren't they? Well, Eric, meanwhile, the majority of the global coronavirus cases are in Asia, with nearly 95,000 total confirmed cases and more than 3,000 deaths so far in China, where the outbreak began in December. A hotel housing dozens of quarantine patients collapsed this weekend killing 10 more people. In the Middle East, Iran reporting dozens of new cases overnight in Bethlehem, now under coronavirus lockdown. Let's go to Trey Yingst. He is live in Tel Aviv, Israel, with the very latest. Trey. Arthel, good afternoon. As the global number of coronavirus cases continues to rise, countries outside the United States are taking some extreme measures to ensure the safety of their civilians. The West Bank town of Bethlehem is completely locked down after 19 cases were confirmed there. The closure is affecting a group of 13 Americans who are being told to self-quarantine in a nearby hotel. That hotel